Good afternoon, folks. Big Bo with RVs with Big Bo at Parkway RV Center. Guys, I've got one today that's probably one of the most loaded out Class C's you probably gonna see on the market today. Uh, this is Thor Motor Coach's top of the line Class C model, the Thor Quantum. And this is the KW29 model number. Guys, this is a 2020 Thor Quantum KW29. 30 feet, 11 inches long at its longest point. Double slides, 12,400 miles. Now, I actually sold this unit about five months ago to a good buddy of mine. He's a uh, sales manager at a large Ford dealership here in Chattanooga. And um, he bought this for him and his wife. They, you know, since the pandemic started, car business has been wide open hadn't had a vacation in a couple of years they bought this so they could take a extended time off do some traveling and um so they hadn't had a vacation in so long because of the crazy crazy business and, and the rv business same way and uh they've been using it for the past five months traveling around they put about a little over almost 2500 miles on it and um done with their trip and they decided to uh, sell it back to us so I've got it now, guys. It's a 2020. It's 89.9. And, man, you talk about one gorgeous Class C. I mean, it's got everything and anything you could ever want. Stack washer and dryer, solar. I mean, leveling jacks, power stabilizer jacks, uh, satellite. I mean, you name it. If it's available, it's got it. And I looked these things up brand new, 2023 KW29, 140,000 dollars. Of course, you know you can't go in there and buy one for 140,000 dollars, even though that's what they advertised them for, brand new. You know, not counting 10,000 dollars worth of sales tax, they'll hit you up with an additional 10, 15,000 dollars worth of fees and upsells. You know, that 140,000 dollars is going to be 165 before you leave with that new KW29. So. 165 versus 89.9 with 12,000 miles. Which one are you going to choose? Exactly. Built on the 40, 450 chassis, 6.8 Triton V10, uh, power awning, everything. Uh, guys, I mean, I know the guy that had this thing. He's he's owned RVs in the past. He tells me everything works on it. I believe him. It's got a 4 kw on end generator, 195 hours on it. Uh, beautiful. Uh, I've got the high gloss HD Max trailer hitch. It is rated for 8,000 pounds. They didn't tow anything behind it. They just did some traveling, guys. Don't blame them at all. You can see both over here. Both slides have awning toppers. Sorry, it's a little windy out here. Here's some stuff that they left for you. Got your power cord, surge protector, uh, real nice. Water hose, collapsible water hose in there, and some other goodies they left for you. You know, pretty good bit of storage. I don't know how well that door is going to stay open, even with the shocks and this high wind. Hopefully, it's not drowning out my audio. We're going to put this windscreen on this mic to the test here. And uh does have the tankless instant hot water heater. So, you turn that switch on by the time you get this robe to get in the shower you've got literally unlimited hot water tires look great outside shower as well i mean and i'm trying to find a fault on this thing to show you not having much luck at all Like I said, the only way you're going to buy one any nicer than newer than this is to go out and spend 165 on a brand new one. And probably have less equipment than this because it's got a lot of extra stuff on it like the stack washer and dryer and the and satellite. Stuff like that you have to pay extra for. It does have an outside TV. Uh, you can see some of your storage bays. I haven't cleaned this thing up or anything. This is just how it came in. 
I mean, he took really good care of it. I know this guy very well. Done a lot of business with him. Probably over the past 15 years, I buy all of his RV trade-ins and he buys a lot of my vehicle trade-ins. You know, a lot of times people uh, trade in late model cars and trucks and SUVs to RV dealerships. You know, obviously we don't sell that kind of stuff. And we sell them to car dealers and they sell us their RV trade-ins. Kind of like, you know, you scratch my back, I scratch yours. So that's why we sold him this thing. He came here to buy this RV from us, guys. And um, been a good one. And uh, he's made a couple of upgrades on the inside. Uh, he did put a larger TV in the bedroom. And I'll show you one thing that was upgraded by the first original owners that he kept when we go inside. But first, before we go inside, let's pop a drone up. Let's do a roof shot. Got a lot of goodies on the roof. Notice the max air vent covers. A lot of stuff that's been added on. You'll see the tailgater uh, satellite system on the roof and more. So hang tight. We'll pop that drone up. And you can see guys, no worries up there. Let's look inside. And again, guys, this is stores. If you want their best class C without getting into a super C, you get the Thor Quantum. Nice open floor plan. Table booth makes a bed. Now this is what the original owners did and uh, when Gary bought this thing, I had uh, told him, you know, I'm going to make y'all the same offer I made him. He didn't take it because he liked this better because it was just him and his wife traveling, so they didn't really need. Uh, this thing would have came with a small couch right here, and the original owners took that small, uncomfortable couch out, put these two huge recliners in. Yeah, you lose a small bed, but you gain two comfortable recliners that two adults can very easily set in and um and they they didn't even think about it they saw it set on those set on these recliners said they what they want the recliners they don't want the couch so whoever buys this thing i'm gonna leave it buyer's choice you can i'll put you a small so a sleeper sofa in here a small one or i'll put you i'll leave these recliners in your choice so just let your salesperson know keep it in mind <clears throat> that i'm not going to order that sofa until you give me the okay and give us about a week to 10 days to get it in here. So, you know, we'll get uh, to let your salesperson know as soon as possible. But this unit does have the automatic leveling jacks as well as power rear stabilizer jacks. So if you just want to park somewhere and you're level, you don't want to put your jacks down, you can still put your rear stabilizers down with the push of a button and you don't have to uh, worry about it rocking so bad, walking back and forth, even though Heck, I'm 300 pounds walking back and forth. This thing just barely moves with me. It does have tire pressure monitoring systems uh, for your tires. So you don't, if you have a flat tire or low tire, you've got a controller on the dash that tells you that. Corian countertops. It does have solid hardwood cabinets with multiple layers of uh, clear coat on them. So same grade of cabinets you'd have in your own home. Books and manuals are in it. Large television right here. This booth makes a bed. You do have a big, little smaller than a queen, bigger than a full-size bed in the cab over. Of course, that window is one-way glass, and you do have that shade that pops up if you don't need it. Your front cab, 12,000. Well, we'll say 12,400 miles. It's uh, 12,399.9 miles by the time I drive it, it, which we are going to test drive it later in the video. And I'm going to put some gas in it too. I had the generator running um, all the way to where I was taking pictures and it got down to a quarter of a tank and it cut off. So that's where most generators cut off. So before we test drive it, I'm going to run and put some fuel in it for you. So don't worry about that. Um, then we'll test drive it on video, show you what it looks like with the slide out, seeing all that good stuff. So, um, dash air is ice cold. It does have, and this has probably been added 
uh, that somebody's added an extra backup camera so you do have a backup camera built into your dash I would say they did that so that they can use the navigation on the dash and then use that for the backup camera on the mirror because re realistically a mirror is pretty useless in a class C motorhome because all you're going to do is just see what's inside your RV you're not going to see behind you anyway unless you got kids running around something like that which they didn't it was just the two of them traveling that's why they didn't go with the sofa and kept the chairs all the furniture you know this is you know they pretty much solved the flaking furniture problem by 2020 so no flaking furniture you're not going to have any um you got the wood grain kit that's 100 percent genuine plastic uh faux uh, woodwork on the dash like all modern rvs have <laughs> trim pieces <laughs> hey that's the real that's the 100 percent real imitation wood right there guys that's the real stuff <laughs> but uh does have a 15,000 BTU ducted roof air. Does a fantastic job. I mean, they, they got some really hot weather over the summer. Didn't have a problem keeping it cool. These things are so well insulated that, um, you know, keeping it cool wasn't a problem with that 15,000 BTU air. Beautiful Corian countertops. Got the countertop extender. You do have a double basin sink. Or excuse me, single basin. Single basin. Farmhouse. It's a large single basin sink. Like I said, we ain't cleaned it up yet, so we're going to do all that. Overhead storage. I mean, those are some nice cabinets in this thing. Of course, this is, like I said, this is the Quantum. This is this is their best. This is a, a big step above a lot of the Thors that I film and a lot of the entry-level models, like the Freedom Elites and stuff like that. This is a huge, huge step above. Uh, Three-burner cooktop, which I don't believe they cook much in it. Mic over the range microwave, got a little paper towel there to keep the plate from rattling when they're driving. Refrigerator freezer, this is a uh, RV two-way, so it runs off propane or electric. And it's actually on gas right now and it's already getting cold, so we know we're good there. And I guarantee, you know, we, get, we still do our major systems inspection, even though this is actually when it hits RV Trader, uh, probably tomorrow sometimes, this will be the lowest priced 2020 29 KW on the RV Trader by thousands. And definitely the most well equipped one on top of that, and one of the lowest mileage ones too. Um, we still do our major systems inspection, which guys, I know the guy that had this thing, he wouldn't have traveled in it uh, that far if everything wasn't just 100% right. 194.9 hours on the generator does have the holding tank heaters and this is cool right here now how often do you see and of course you do have a sliding door right here for privacy you how often do you see this in a c-class you're going to look far and wide before you find another one with a stack washer and dryer not the combo which is that's that's rare too to find one with even the one piece combo which aren't worth a flip but a stack washer and dryer separate washer separate dryer and a king bed to boot king bed washer dryer they did put a bigger tv back here you do have the the uh tankless instant hot water heater ton of storage here in the back wall the whole back wall is closet drawer space and you do have a rear corner bathroom which is pretty decently big i mean i guess this particular floor plan they had to take away from the bathroom to give you more space for your king bed and your stack washer and dryer so i get it i mean let's be honest with you i mean how often a day are you in a bathroom compared to the rest of the rv i mean i'd rather take a little space from the bathroom not too much but a little bit because what are you in a bathroom 30 minutes a day 40 minutes a day at most you're in your bedroom six to eight hours. You're in the rest of the RV several hours too. Um, so if you're going to take space away, I would say a bathroom. So bathroom is a little small if I was going to sit here and pick it, but not overly too small. You can still stand up. Got a nice shower, skylight. Does have the porcelain RV toilet on the high rise. 
so you know a big guy like me can sit down and and do do my business and and be comfortable um yeah i mean everything in here looks good i mean but that was probably my bathroom's just a little small and you know my two you know i like everything on the rv but i said my only two things that kind of dislike about it is that and of course this particular slide out system the bed you have to fold the mattress over to bring the bed in so you can't use the bed when the slide out's in but that's just a uh, that's a thor thing doesn't hurt it because you still got your cab over bed and your table booth bed but you know if you got somebody who wants to sleep while you're driving down the road they're going to have to make out the table booth or sleep on the cab over and don't roll around too much <laughs> but guys you know like i said no floor plans perfect that's just pros and cons and that may not even bother most of you i'm just talking from <coughs> my experienced eye as an RVer. but i think the pros outweigh the cons those two minor cons i think that's the main thing but um wow as far as newness as far as condition you can't beat this without buying a brand new one you know i'm looking at our right, this is what this is how i look at things too and y'all may look at things totally different than i do i'm looking at what's going to cost me to buy a brand new 2023 kw29 quantum like i said they're 140 on rv trader you know sales tax which you're going to pay tax on this too not near as much because it's a lot lower price but i'm looking at tax i'm looking at all the upsells and fees that the new dealers charge you that we don't charge you like i said if something's priced 140 grand at a new rv dealer you're, you're going to pay 160 to 165 before you leave with it and that's by the time they suck you into all the upgrades uh all the the fees like the dock fees prep fees tag and title fees and processing fees and uh uh destination fees and all this junk plus all the upsells like the extended warranties gap insurance uh tire and wheel packages and and all this other stuff all right you're, you're going to be 160 165 okay i'm looking at that 160 let's just say 160 on the low side and then i'm looking at this for seventy thousand dollars less with just barely to over twelve thousand miles huh you know what I can do with seventy thousand dollars? You know what seventy thousand dollars can do in this day and time? That's that's a year long cross country trip, and then enough money left over to uh, add on to your house and put a pool in. <laughs> I mean, I, I mean, I'm just being honest. Just the savings from buying this over buying a new one, and this thing's going to do everything a new one will do with more equipment in it because. Like I said, they put the washer and dryer in it. It's got the jacks, satellite. It's got the rear stabilizers. You know, already got your newer TVs in it. Um, and wow. I mean, that's my, that's my way of thinking, comparing new to used. I'm looking at what a new one cost me. And not to mention, all right, here's the thing. I, I, let's just say I did go by, spend 160 grand on a brand new one. Well, three years from now, it's going to be worth what this one's worth. $70,000 loss. I don't know about you guys, but I can't afford to lose $70,000 on something just to put a few thousand miles on it. I couldn't afford to do that. I don't know about y'all. Y'all may have more money than I do, but I, 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 I'm not in the habit of, of losing $70,000, which is what you'll do if you buy a new one. time you get tired of it and decide you want to trade it or sell it, Remember, a new RV is only new to the original owner. As soon as that original owner decides to sell it or trade it, it's a used RV. It can be, you, you could buy it brand new. The original owner can buy it brand new and spend all this money get all, and, and, and buy all these upsells, all these fees, and go through all the games that the big dealers charge you for a brand new RV and decide a month later, I hate this thing, or I hate RVing, or I want this, or I want that. So I'm going to sell it or trade it. Guess what, guys? When you sell it or trade it, it's a used RV because none of that stuff transfers. 
in fact your warranty does not transfer your when you sell it if you sell it to somebody else or you trade it to another dealer it's a used RV because it's already titled in your name it's used you paid for a new one it was new for until you took it off the lot but once you took it off the lot it became a used RV but you paid a new price for it it doesn't matter if you if you never even went camping in it it's still considered a used RV so that's what kills me about these people that go out and spend that kind of money on something just so they can say it's new but it's only new for five or ten minutes and then it's used because anything they do with it as far as getting rid of it from that point on it's always going to be used it may be new to them but it's going to be used to anybody else and um well, it's like this guy. I mean, he was in the car business, sales manager, been in the business many years. He could have went, he had the money and the credit to go buy a brand new one, but did he go buy a new one? No, because he's smart. He, like anybody, you know, you that's one thing, guys, even people in the RV business, we're never going to go buy a new one. Um, <laughs> we're going to buy used because we see the depreciation. That's the thing. You will never see a, a an RV salesperson, RV uh, a dealer or an RV manager buy a brand new RV unless they just unless the manufacturer just because it's them gives them just an absolutely stupid ridiculous deal you'll never see one of us same way in the car business guys you'll never see a car salesman buy a new car very rarely do you see a car salesman buy a new car because they see what happens when people buy new and then try to sell it or trade it a year or two later the same way with RVs I mean they know better <laughs> So, uh, but anyway, I can't, I can't, I guess I can't beat up new too bad because if we didn't have new ones, we wouldn't have used ones and, and then, then we'd be messed up here. We'd be screwed here. So, but guys, this is a, uh, 2020 Thor Quantum 29 KW. What I'm going to do is first of all, if you're interested in this motorhome, give us a call 706-965-7929. Make sure it's available before coming down. You probably want to consider leaving a deposit on it. This unit will include our major systems inspection, which is performed after purchase by our certified RV techs. We're gonna make sure the generator works like it's supposed to, puts out like it's supposed to, make sure both slide outs work. I'll bring those in here in a minute. And uh, we're gonna check the uh, refrigerator freezer, make sure it works right, which it is. I've already checked that. We're gonna check the roof air, which it was working until the generator, until the fuel level got too low for the generator. Uh, we're going to guarantee that to work at time of sale. We're going to guarantee the uh, water systems, including the tankless water heater, the water pump, faucet, spigots, toilet, shower, things like that. So we're going to check all that. Make sure you got no plumbing leaks. Make sure that all your plumbing systems work. Okay, that's included for that $89.9 price. Um, which, by the way, let me flash an NADA up real quick. NADA on this thing without adding any options adjusting for the mile i'm not adding for the satellite i'm not adding for the jacks i'm not adding for the washer and dryer if you want to go to nadaguides.com and add all that stuff it will add the value even more but i'm leaving it i never add options i always keep it just base retail and adjust for the miles i believe that's the way nada is supposed to be used hang tight let me flash that up So you see guys i'm selling a 12,000 mile motor on 15 grand under retail but what i'm getting at guys uh we'll check those systems make sure they work we'll check the drivability the step and um and i've already checked the awning even though it's not part of our checkout process the awning works dash air is cold even though that's not part of our process but it does work you know if it works if it ain't broke you can't fix it um and we'll drive it here later in the video and i'll bring the rooms in show you all that but that's the things that we guarantee to work that's the things we check now anything else on it guys is sold as is and if it works it works if it doesn't it doesn't for that's how we keep our prices low now if you want to pay me 104 105 thousand dollars for whatever the full retail price was we will give you a full retail inspection and check all the little stuff on it that um will make it a full retail unit but not for 89.9 you know that's that's the thing um 
So this is what I recommend. For 89.9, we check the major systems. And I recommend that you come down and do one of two things or both. Uh, I recommend that you do your own inspection, spend some time in it, test drive it, look it over real good front to back, top to bottom, make a list of what you find on it that may not work so you know what you're getting into. You know, we can't fix anything beyond the major systems that I mentioned earlier for that price. I mean, so in other words, what you find on it that doesn't work is going to be sold with those systems not working. This way, you know what you're getting into before you get into it or before you obligate yourself to get into it. And, um, or, and this is what I recommend, I always recommend this to everybody wanting to buy a used or even a brand new RV. Everybody should spend a little extra money and get a third party RV inspector to inspect an RV. Um, they're welcome here. You know, a lot of dealerships don't let RV inspectors on their lot. I've got one here right now checking one out actually. I welcome them here. In fact, I encourage any smart shopper to spend a few hundred extra dollars and have the RV inspected, especially if you're buying it sight unseen. Um, I think it's crazy if you don't, especially if you're not that familiar with RVs because it, I, I don't pull no punches, guys. Any RV you buy, you're going to work on. New, used, the, it doesn't matter how much you spend on it. It doesn't matter the brand, doesn't matter the type. It can be a, a $5 million custom bus, you're going to work on it. It can be a $5,000 camper, you're going to work on it. I mean, that's just the nature of owning an RV. And, and I'm, not, I'm not trying to make these a, a, a gloomy thing, like RVing's a gloomy thing. It's not. But because there's a lot of great memories, uh, you're going to make a lot of great memories. You're going to have a great time in an RV. But there's going to be a lot of behind the scenes repairs maintenance and stuff that you're going to have to go through to get to those memories and that's just like owning a houseboat i mean you ask anybody that's ever owned a houseboat or a uh, cruiser or something like that they're not maintenance free you're all the time working on them rvs are the same way a uh, vacation homes the same way um anything like that guys that's just any kind of toy you're going to work on. And if anybody tells you different, they're lying to you. And I, I just, I believe in being honest with my viewers and um, don't expect to buy an RV and let it set months and months and months between uses and just jump in it, turn it, crank it, crank it up and everything work like it did when it was brand new because that's not going to happen. You know, um, you're always going to find little things to fix, sometimes major things to fix and the longer it sits between uses the more things like that are going to happen now we concentrate on the major stuff that can ruin your trip if it doesn't work like i said slide outs refrigerator generator roof air plumbing uh drivability step things like that that that's stuff that can ruin your trip you know if you get in here let's just say let's just say that light right there stopped working it's going to be sold with that light not working and i know i'm, I'm just quoting examples you know, that's something you can fix yourself, guys. That's a $15 light on Amazon. Take you 10 minutes to change out. Or let's just say um, a drawer came off track. You can fix that yourself. A lot of times you can fix that without even buying parts. Um, or a TV stopped working, for example. Even though the TV was working until the generator died. Um, <laughs> I don't have any 110 right now. So this is all 12 volt and uh, propane. But um, it would be sold. You'd have to buy your TV. No big deal. I mean, Walmart, Best Buy, Amazon. I mean, you know, TV's a TV. I mean, cheapest thing you buy for an RV is a TV, I think. And I'm just quoting examples of things that, if it didn't work, that, you know, you'd have to fix. No big deal. Uh, a TV went out of my motor home. I went to Walmart and spent 100 and 80 bucks 190 bucks bought another one put it in and took me about 20 minutes to install it and that that was that i mean it wasn't wasn't no big deal at all so you know that's just part of owning one guys and you know if that's not something that you're prepared to deal with or you're prepared to pay or if you're not able to do those things and you and you're not able to pay somebody to do those things this may not be the right thing for you
and um you know here at parkway rv center we, we like to be just open and honest that's why we welcome rv inspectors we welcome you to come and look at these things uh you know we try to keep the lowest prices on the internet and we have people that travel from all over the country because not only are our prices the lowest but the fact is that our out the door prices are 89.9 like on this one's 89.9 haggle free firm but we have no upsells and no fees is 89.9 plus applicable sales tax now if you are a georgia resident uh there is a 50 to 100 dollar highway impact fee and a 40 to 50 dollar tag and title fee that's georgia residents only i have no control over that the state makes us charge georgia residents that as everybody like myself included that lives in georgia already knows that's ever bought a vehicle in state <laughs> i mean it's been that way for years so i'm not telling y'all nothing new out of state of course doesn't pay that but uh i do like the fact because it's only got one little small step right here too probably not even three or four inches tall you don't trip over it as easy but um yeah i like it guys you know if you're wanting just a loaded out class c i think you're not going to find a better one for the money oh they've added some kind of oh, okay i see what they did they've added a, a curtain or a closet rod in there that's actually pretty smart i would have thought thor would add something like that from the factory but they didn't I also noticed there's some USB chargers and 12 volt chargers on the sides of the beds. That's cool. Keep your keep your phones and stuff charged. So anyway, guys, what I'm gonna do, if you're interested again in this coach, uh, call us at 706-965-7929. Uh, hang tight, I'm gonna pause the video for a second, bring the rooms in and uh, show you what it looks like with it in. Go ahead and fold everything up, the awnings and stuff. And, I'm going to run, put some gas in it, come back, get one of my guys, and we'll take a test drive. And um, I will see you in just a second with the slides in. All righty, I got everything buttoned up and ready to take it down the road. Um, of course, you know, always go outside, you know, do your sa standard safety checks. Make sure all your outside bays are closed, locked, and latched, or closed, latched, and locked. Bring your awning in. If your unit uh, doesn't have slide toppers, which this one does, make sure you don't have any limbs, debris, sticks, anything like that, leaves that can damage your slide out seal if you do. Um, have anything on top of your slide, take a broom or a battery powered leaf blower. It's also a handy thing in a ladder or climb on the back of the RV onto the roof and do it that way as well. Sweep all that off or blow it all off before you bring the room in. Uh, once you do all that, the motor has to be off. And um, looks a little different. I mean, it did take up some space, both slide outs. This part, not so bad as a bedroom. I mean, in here, you still got full access to your kitchen, your refrigerator, your TV. You can still make your table booth bed out, still make your cab over bed. Um, you, know, you can come in here and do whatever you need to do in the kitchen little bit of a tight squeeze through here for for me most of y'all won't have a problem but i'm 300 pounds so but uh this slide out just got a switch right here and uh, make sure your front seat's clear and press that till it comes all the way in as with any slide out either bring it all the way in or all the way out so that seal can connect and once you bring the front one in go to the back and you still got full access to your bathroom. That's no problem there. And slide out switches right here. And fold your mattress over. Just It's got a fold in the mattress. It's real easy to fold over and do it one-handed. And bring your room in, same way. Bring it all the way in. And you're good to go. So hang tight, guys. I'm going to run and put some fuel on this thing real quick. Get one of my guys. We'll take it for a test drive. And... Um, be right back in just a second for the driver's seat. All right, everybody. Now we're going to test drive this 2020 Thor Quantum, which I expect should be just fine. I just drove it next door, filled it up with gas for you. So $134 to fill it up from a little under a quarter of a tank to full. That's not bad. A lot better than it was a few months ago. And got my buddy Shane going to be our cameraman, going to 
ride with us and if y'all have any interest in this motor home give him a call or a text shane what's your number it's 423-347-8478 so we're going to test drive this thing which i mean i just drove it a thousand feet i don't really think it'd be any problems but we'll, we'll get it out on the road at least Day, about 70 degrees sunny a little breeze going a lot of traffic coming out i'm not pulling out from a dump truck <laughs> Thousand four hundred miles. So it does have a nav, got a nice Bluetooth stereo, got the extra backup camera, color backup camera with the with the volume and everything, so you can hear somebody guide you back or yell when you run over their foot. <laughs> It's up and goes good for, I mean, for this size motor home. I mean, that's not going to be quick as nimble as those little ones with the V10, but. Yeah, but I mean, we're, we're keeping up with everybody pretty good. Transmission shifting good, even going up this hill. Crazy gas is 10 cents higher, half a mile up the road from where I just filled up because we're close to the interstate. The last video we did was $2.99. Yeah. And it's actually 10 cents cheaper than that if you go another mile down the road. All right, let's see what this thing can do. Well, we got a truck in front of us. This unit does have the side cameras too. That's cool. It's built into the uh, rear view mirror. That actually is uh, would come in handy. Back, really nice view on the side cameras. I like that. You literally have no blind spot between your side mirrors and your camera. Yeah, somebody's added that, but that was actually a very, very nice upgrade. And we'll, uh, and we hit the road at about 60 on the interstate. And uh, I got the crew set at 65. Nice and smooth. Tires feel good. I'm not fighting anything. Got an oversized load coming up on our left, so we'll see how that blows us around. If it can catch up to us. Does have the uh, tire pressure monitor controller so you can check the tire pressure. I'm gonna see how this truck right here does to us. that ain't nothing. Check the brakes.
Brakes feel good, no vibrations in the rotor, steering wheel, even getting on the brakes a little bit, it's not pulling to the left or the right. Guys, as far as the running and driving, this thing needs absolutely nothing. I mean, the transmission, the brakes, uh, don't take my word for it, come check it out for yourself, come test drive it. Um, this one, it didn't last long last time, I don't think it'll last long this time. Uh, give Shane a call or a text. Shane, what's your number? 423-347-8478. Get on this thing quick if you want it. Um, way under book. You saw the NADA. Loaded out with options. Thanks, for, Thank y'all for watching. Smash us a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. Do have financing with approved credit, and we offer nationwide delivery if you need it. Uh, give us a call for information on that. And... Uh, take trade-ins forgot to mention all that earlier and um thanks again for watching look forward to seeing you here in beautiful ringgold georgia